Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to another Cars 3 video. Today, oh man, we have some great stuff, some great customs of Rusty's Cruz Ramirez in the normal yellow paint shop and a special edition white one as well. So, of course, I got these from the amazing customizer, Joe's minis you might have heard of him before and possibly my review of the next gen apple racer and mac icar from cars one as well if you'd like to see my video on these the link will be down below along with the card suggestion in the top right hand corner they are absolutely amazing and so are these cruise Ramirez is. Of course, Joe's Minis does sell these. He sells a lot of them and he has a huge variety. He's always working on new stuff. Like I just saw he post on Facebook like he has Lightning McQueen half red like the normal paint job and half an apple paint job just like this. So that's going to be awesome. I might get that one from him. So you can check out his Facebook page. Link will be down below along with his email. So just shoot him an email if you are interested in this stuff. Very reasonable prices as well. I definitely recommend him. Like his ability to just make these customs is phenomenal. And now if you guys don't know what mini racers are, if you're new to my channel or the hobby in general, I do have a playlist so you can check it out. I've done like three or four videos on mini racers. The I think I've done like three videos on the actual Mattel ones and then I've done, this will be my second video on Joe's minis custom minis. So they come in little baggies like this. They aren't unfortunately sold at major retailers, at least here in the United States, like Target. Target, Walmart, and Toys R Us. Those stores have a separate mini line that are plastic, they don't even roll, and they're more expensive. It doesn't make any sense to me. These are way better. And I've been able to find them at Walgreens, and now especially Best Buy. Walgreens doesn't really sell them anymore, but Best Buy does, and they have been getting in some new ones. Like, I just stopped there the other day. Yeah, here's 10. I think that's Jackson Storm. So they are numbered back there. I'm not going to explain that in this video, but I do explain it in my videos on like the actual release mini racers. And there are two like versions of the bag. So you have like the early version here for the first couple waves, and then the new one with the like last couple waves. So all of them have been released. Some people have been able to find them at Best Buy. I'm still struggling to get Danico Cruz Ramirez RV and up. And if you guys know like the numbers and you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, they're like only two bucks at Best Buy. And yeah, it's a nice line that Mattel introduced along with like all the other Cars 3 stuff because they always kind of have a mini line going. Like in 2008 and 9, they had that one where they're plastic, but they do roll huge variety there stuff that wasn't even in the movies then you have the micro drifters and now you have these which in my opinion are the best out of them all so let's start here naturally with just the normal version that appeared in the movie i don't have any pictures to show i mean yeah i'm just not going to show any pictures because you guys know what she looks like i did a video on her like a speculation video when we didn't even know what was going on and i think a lot of you guys have seen the movie by now and this is basically the paint job Cruz Ramirez had for the Florida 500 race when she, I'm not going to say it actually, I'm going to leave it at that because I think the last date for the movie to be released anywhere is September 28th and that's like three weeks away so I will save it for those people who haven't seen it yet. But of course the one thing that this does lack is a spoiler right here but I mean like how are you supposed to do that unless you do have the Dinoco Cruz Ramirez mini racer which is pretty rare right now so I don't mind at all and it's something different. It's kind of like cruising Lightning McQueen to me because it doesn't have a spoiler so I find it really cool and he does have a custom mini of cruising McQueen by the way as well. But the expression is the same as the normal Cruz Ramirez Mini. Like this is the standard release right here. As so you can see, the expressions there are the same. You can kind of see a yellow splotch of paint there where he painted over the Rusty's decals right there. See that decal right there? He painted over that because that's not on the Rusty's paint job. And then added red rims, which I'm sure he took from Lightning McQueen. So yeah, this 
it's definitely a pretty big ordeal to make these because you can't just like have a Cruz Ramirez and make this with that. You have to have some other ones as well, like McQueen. And of course, you have to have the ability to print off these amazing decals. I mean, check this out. These are so nicely done. Rusty's 95 there, Cruz on the bottom, just like it was in the movie. And you know, I just love this paint job for Cruz. I like how the decals are slanted and they go onto the window. I'll talk about it a little bit more in my review of the normal size die cast of Rusty's Cruz, which should come out later this month. It's actually on eBay, so if you want to get it early, try get it on eBay. You can also see the red stripe that curves around like a road right there. And 95, just very nicely done. The decals are very crisp. I love it. And now, something that Joe's Minis does, although I'm not sure if he's going to keep doing it. He said something to me like he doesn't think he'll keep doing this. But he put kind of like a customized license plan here that says JM-002 for like, I think that would be like the second custom he made in kind of his series, and obviously JM stands for Joe's Minis. And he has to take this apart, and it looks like he puts them back together with some sort of glue adhesive, something like that. It looks very clean down there though, and there's the base if you're interested. So very nicely done, just a beautiful one. Because I don't even know if Mattel will make Rusty's Cruise as a Mini, but I'm even more excited for this white one right here. I mean, it just looks so different and cool. It's like kind of like a ghost Cruz Ramirez. So instead of being yellow, obviously it's all white. The decals are still the same. White rims there, which I think he took from, you know what, I don't know. Hmm, I know the Apple Racer has the white ones there. I think I know. Hmm, who has the white rims? I need to think about it for a while, but check this out. So this one is JM001. He called this one his first one in his series. This one is the second. So it's just very nicely done. I mean, I don't know if you guys are into this stuff with like the special edition, like different colors, stuff that didn't appear in the movie, but I really am. Like if I see a Lightning McQueen that's pink, I'll buy it because I just find that really cool. I just like the stuff that didn't appear in the movie and how they're expanding upon it. And since it's a different color like this, it contributes to the like specialness, I guess you could say. If I'm making any sense, let me know. I don't even know if I'm making sense, but I just find this really cool looking. Simple as that, I guess. So here's a little comparison between the two. Very, very nice. I prefer the white one for sure. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. So that is pretty much all. I do want to show a couple other minis in this video. So here are like all the customs that I have from him. The two Apple Racers and the two Cruz Ramirez's. And then we have of course regular Cruz Ramirez, Lightning McQueen, Fabulous Lightning McQueen, and Jackson Storm. I've been able to find actually Fabulous McQueen and Jackson at Best Buy. I already said I found Jackson, but you know, definitely check that store. I mean, I never would have thought of going there to find cars unless like I heard other people finding them there. I mean, it's just kind of an odd place. I mean, it's an electronics store and yet they have like a whole section dedicated to cars. It's insane. Like, I know people have even been finding like RV and Mr. Drippy there. It's crazy. So that's my awesome job, I guess. But anyway, thanks Joe's Minis for these. And yeah, you just do an amazing job on them. I highly recommend these minis. And to give you guys a sense of scale, here is the normal size 155 scale Cruz Ramirez. So you can see they're considerably smaller. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I don't think I have anything else to say in this video. It seems kind of short. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's... I think that's all. So I just want to give a little debrief on the videos to come. This should come out Saturday midday, 12 p.m. Central Time. By the way, uh, for anyone affected by the recent hurricanes, Harvey or Irma, if you know if you live in those regions, Irma hasn't hit yet, but it should like tomorrow or something. So I hope you're safe and everything. You're okay here in Illinois. That's not much of a threat. I know some people have asked me how I'm doing. I appreciate that. And thankfully, it's not really a threat here. 
And now on the bright side of things, future videos to look forward to, I do have Bruce Miller here, the RPM racer, which will be a very soon video to come out. And guess what guys, I actually found stuff in a store and I recorded it, which means Hunt episode seven coming soon guys. It'll be this huge montage of clips from my trip to Canada and just a bunch of random stuff that I got here in the United States around my town. So yeah, I think I finally have enough to make an enjoyable episode because yeah, I found like all these demolition derby cars and new five packs at Walmart. So I was very happy about that. So anyways guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these minis and which one is your favorite. I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.